Um, we have bar sculpt this morning. Um, you just need a Pilates ball or equivalent and then one dumbbell. And I've actually gone a little bit heavier today than normal because we're just using it in place of two. So you can go a little heavier if you have one, but keep one, maybe one lighter for when we do the triceps a bit later on. Or you could just try heavy because we're not going to do too much repetition today. So those two are all you need and lots of water. Keep drinking plenty of water because it is hot, hot, hot. So coming hip distance apart, slight bend in the knees, hands down by your sides or on your waist, whichever you prefer, and then just drop one ear to the shoulder and then lift up through the center down to the other side. So keeping both shoulders down away from the ears, up, down, two more and whichever side you're on now hold it there tuck your chin slightly draw a circle so a little semicircle from one ear through to the other ear well you can't see it's just out of sight of all my washing is hang hanging on a um some of the other chandelier -y thing <laughs> wasn't quite dry last night and i haven't done anything with it this morning Okay, one more, and then bring your head back to the centre, take your hands up onto your shoulders, thumbs facing the back of the room, draw some big circles, trying to reach these elbows together, then lifting high, squeeze, and lift, and then from there, changing the direction of the circles. Two more, and five, good. Leave one arm where it is, take the other arm in big sweeping circles, up and overhead. Two more, good. And then take that hand onto the shoulder and start circling the other arm. Really opening up into these arms. Four, three, two and one take that arm up overhead take the other arm overhead hinge out from your hips tilt yourself forward halfway and then lift back up when you come to the top if it feels good come into a little back bend and then hinge halfway and then lift so uh, uh, with your breath just go please don't knock that over Rocky. Rocky's just coming so we're going to walk straight into the stand very gentle back bend just mobilizing the spine and lengthening those hamstrings, one more. Okay, and then from here, taking it into a full sweep to the floor, lift up at the top circle, the arms up and over. Down, up, circle, reach. Down, up, circle, reach. Down, up, circle, reach. Down, up, circle, reach. Two more. Last time, down, up, to the top. When you get here, lifting up, turning your heels in, and then lifting up onto the toes, and then dropping down, and lift. Down, and lift, down, and lift. So doing a releve, arms up in fifth, arms getting nice and warm now. Four, down, three, two, and one good from here leave the arms at the side step out a little wider if you're not already and then you're going to plie down and then hold and then i'm just going to take your arms to the back then the front round so really rotating these shoulder blades nearly done with the arm warm-up front four three two and one bring those hands down so they're on your waist you're going to lift one heel then drop then the other drop lift so just lifting them nice and high, warming up through the ankles, the heels, the feet. Left, keep the upper body as still as you can. You've got four, three, two, and one. Then you're gonna pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then lift onto your heels, and then halfway drop and lift, drop and lift. Drop, so really working that balance, but if you need to, holding a bar. Just the warm up. Seven. 
and eight. Drop the heels and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six. Lift the heels, drop, two, three. Really good strengthen up for the calves. Nice and warm those legs, drop them down. Four, three, two, one. Lift the heels, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, one, two, heels up. Halfway relevé. Two, drop the heels down, lift the legs, take the toes so they're facing forward, sweep the arms up overhead, take one wrist with the other hand, and then lean over that way, and then just take some little pulses, easing into the sides. Rocky, what are you doing? Three, two, and one, back to the top, change the wrist grip, and then other way, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring the hands down, give those shoulders a roll. So that's the warm-up done. Keep drinking water if you need it. So what we're going to do today is make our way through quite a lot of different things. We're not going to repeat them, so sometimes we repeat, but today we're not going to repeat them at all. So the sets are going to be slightly longer, and because it's sculpt, we're going to slow it right down. So you're going to take the ball, you're going to place it between your ankles, but not so it's touching the floor because that makes it a little bit harder to do the move. So between the ankles, but not touching the floor and then stepping your feet together in parallel till you feel that squeeze of the ball. And you should already feel that the inside of the legs all the way up are tensing and engaging. So just a nice gentle contraction. We're going to take the dumbbell up overhead. What I want you to avoid is this tilt that I'm showing there. So we're going to draw the pelvis under and keep this nice neutral spine throughout because that'll protect our back. So dumbbell in front, and then you're just going to lift, lift, down, down, lift, lift, down, down. So drawing up through the core, tucking that pelvis, checking that you've got this gentle engagement and contraction in the lower body, lift, down, down, lift, lift, down, down, here you going. Down, down, lift, lift. Someone's agitating the dog, he's coming in and out, I don't know why. Lift, lift, down, and down. Here you go, drawing up through the centre of the core. Lift, lift, down, down, lift, lift. I am actually counting. Down. Down, we've got four more. Lift, down, down, and three. Lift, nice work into these shoulders. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed away from the ears, even though we're lifting above our head. Oh God. One more. Okay, then squeezing that ball, we're gonna add on with a slow roller bay on the way up. So you're gonna come up onto the toes and then down as you come down. So don't rush it. Up, down, down. So you have to really draw up and squeeze that ball to stop the heels dropping back down. Lift, lift, down, and down. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down, lift, lift, down, down, lift, lift, down, down, two more, lift, down, down, hold this one up, lift and hold here and then you're just going to drop and lift, drop and lift, so just doing these ruler base, squeezing that ball, Left, drop, left, drop, left, drop, left, drop, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Back to the legs should be feeling that. And the shoulders, two, and one. Good. Bring the dumbbell down. Just have a little hang at the bottom so it stretches out those shoulders. And then you're going to place the dumbbell down. 
and you're going to take the ball and we're going to put it up between the thighs. Okay, and then you're going to stand sideways on your bar. If you need to face in, you can, that's fine. But facing out is fine. We're just going to give the arms a little rest here. And we'll have a little stretch at the end. So just squeezing nice and high with these balls. And again, this time you really want to feel this contraction on the inner thighs before we even get started. And you're going to lift up onto your toes. And then we're going to plie, straighten up, drop down, squeezing the whole time. So lift up, plie, up, down. Check that when you're coming down into this plie, you've got this line of heels, hips, shoulders, all in a nice line. And that you're not dropping the shoulders forward and doing this. So the bum does not come out. Tucking the bum, down, up, drop, lift. Plie, up, drop, lift, plie, up, drop, lift, plie, keep squeezing. We've got two more. Okay, we're going to hold the next one down. Lift up, come down, and then fast pulses. Pulse, 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 pulse. Rocky, you're kind of in the way. <laughs> pulse, 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 pulse. Rocky, it's out of the way. Pulse, 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 pulse. Keep going. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. You should be feeling this in the front of these legs already. Put your hands there and feel these muscles working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From here, you're going to release that bum out, poke it out, and then give it a tuck. Really squeeze the ball. So you can actually see the muscles that are working here because I'm wearing shorts. So as I tuck and squeeze, you can see the contraction happening. So it's coming from the bum all the way down into this leg. So out, tuck and squeeze. Out, tuck and squeeze. Tuck. And tuck. Keep going. Remember, we're just doing one set, so they might be quite long, quite tiring, but just dig in because you're not going to be repeating it. And tuck. Four, three, squeezing that ball. Two, and one, keep tucked. We're going to travel down side to side, swaying those hips, going down for four. So we're going to go side, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four. Don't straighten up, down, two, so keep the heels up, four, shoulders back, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, no straightening of the legs, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, keep going, down, two, squeezing that ball, feeling those legs shaking, I know, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, and up, there's a dog's butt to distract you, three, Four, hold here, squeeze and release. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Fast squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, should be feeling this all over the legs. Don't let those shoulders forward, fall forward. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. 16, 15, 14, 13, still not done. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finishing with pulse, two, three, four. Releve, 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 releve. Pulse, two, three, four, releve, 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 releve. Pulse, two, three, four, releve, 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 releve. Pulse, two, I'm squeezing rather than pulsing. Releve, 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 releve. Keep going. Pulse, two, three, four, releve, 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 releve. Pulse, two, three, four, releve, 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 and releve. 
Okay, straighten up, drop the heels. Oh my goodness me, that traveled right down to the legs and even ended up in the outside of my legs there. So we're just gonna stretch out the shoulders for a second. So we're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades back together, looking up with the chest, and then draw one arm across, draw it in with the other arm, look over the shoulder. Look, you're drooling all over the floor, it's pretty gross. Care factor none. Okay, change arms, drawing across. Hot dog, you're from Crete. Why are you so hot? Okay, easing out, having a sip of water if you need it. Okay, we're going to move now into our glutes and our core. I'm going to pop the um, my, my bar out of the way. Okay, but you can keep the bar if you need to or a wall close. What we're going to do is we're going to do our, keep, keep your dumbbell, um, just one dumbbell close by as well. So we're going to start taking the um, ball behind your right foot. Now if you need a bar to hold onto a wall or a wall to lean onto for this part, that's fine. Because what we're going to do is a single leg deadlift and then we're going to straighten up. So we're drawing up through the core, working our balance, working our back. So we're going to do eight of those to start. So if you need to, with your left hand holding a bar and then just reaching your right hand down. So you're going to drop and then lift. Really focus on this nice hinge from the hips. So hinge, dropping down, taking that back foot as high as you can and lift back up, down, and lift, down, and lift, down, and lift, two more, she says with one finger in the air, oh, last one, okay, what you're going to do now is something similar, you're going to tuck your chin, and you're going to roll down, everyone take both hands off the bar now, roll down with your hand very close to your leg, bring your hands down to the floor, and then walk your hands forward until you can safely lower that left knee, but keep your right leg up, and then you're just going to start immediately pulsing, up, 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 so that toe is pointing up towards the sky, avoid an overarch of the back, draw up, press away from the mat, aim for a nice flat back. Picture balancing those champagne flutes on your back. Keep squeezing, pointing that toe up towards the sky. Anyone who gets cramp in their toes, which some people do, you can just flex your foot instead. Pulse, 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 pulse. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. You're going to reach around with your left hand. Take hold of that ball. Bring it under your left hand. So you're really focusing on your balance here. Pressing down into that ball and trying to keep this upper body as still as possible. And then you're going to straighten and bend, straighten and bend this back leg. Still thinking about that back. Drawing the tummy up towards the back. Straight, bend, straight, bend, straight, bend, straight, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straight. Okay, now just leave it straight and you're just going to pulse, little toe up, pulse, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to lower, lower, lift, lift, lower, lower, lift, lift, lower, Lower, keep that ball and upper body as still as possible. Lower, lift, lift. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Last time, lower, lift and hold. If you can, you're going to take the ball forward with the arm. So left arm forward, right arm up, and then you're just going to circle in with the right leg. Circle towards the other leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that ball, lower your knee. Okay, just pop the ball to one side for a second. And you're going to take hold of your dumbbell. So if you want to go slightly lighter here, you can. We're just going to be working into the triceps. 
So this time your left hand is down on the mat rather than on the ball and you're going to take hold of the dumbbell in your right arm, turn the weight in towards your legs and again push away from the mat so you've got this nice flat back. Keeping your arms straight and close to the body you're going to lift and tap, lift and tap. So just that dumbbell up working into these triceps, keep the shoulders down away from the ears, lift, down, lift, down. So six, five, four, three, two, now hold it up and pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it there, circle in towards the body, circle, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower that dumbbell down. Okay, pop it to the side so you're ready for the next round, then sit back to your heels, take your right arm up, down between the shoulder blades, reach your left hand onto that elbow, and then take the lean back and just stretch out these triceps. So quite a bit of upper body being um, interweaved with this lower body stuff, because as you know, it's upper body focus month. We've only got about just over a week left of upper body and then we're moving on to core. So lots and lots of time on the mat. Okay, bringing your arms down, having a shape. Having some water if you need it and then making your way back up and we're going to repeat that cycle from the top, but this time with the ball behind our left leg. Okay, so keeping the ball at the bar close if you need it or a wall. Taking that ball behind your left leg, balancing through all four corners of this right foot. Don't scrunch it up, keep it spread out and press down. And then from there, deadlift and lift. This is my worst slide, I really wobble on this side. I find this really difficult without a wall, but it's really good practice to do this. And up. And lift. Whoa, I'm wobbling all over the place. I should always start with this side because it's my worst side. Six. Ooh, two more. Okay, and then from here we're doing that crawl down. So tucking your chin, keeping your hands on the front of your legs, crawling them down towards the ground. When you get there, walking your hands forward until you can lower that right knee, keeping that left knee up in the air, and then just start pulsing straight away. Remember, press away from the mat, so don't let it all arch down. Press away, draw that tummy up, toe pointing up towards the sky, and just pulse, pulse, pulse. 20, 9, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it there. Reaching round with the right hand, taking the ball, bringing it underneath your right hand, and then just straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Straight, bend, straight, bend. So pressing down into the ball, and still pressing away from that mat, challenging your balance, challenging your core, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, three, two, one, leave it straight, pulsing up, little pulses, pulse, 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 four, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then lower, lower, lift, lift. So lower to the floor, then lifting as high back up as you can. Down, down, keep protecting that back. Down, down, lift, lift. Down, down, lift, lift. Down, down, lift. Lift, last two, down, lift, lift, last one, down, lift, up and hold, taking the ball away in front if you can, and then circling that leg in towards the other 
leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, bring it all down. Pop your ball to the side of the mat, but we will need it again a little bit later. And then taking hold of your dumbbell on this other side. So right hand is now pressing down into the mat. Knees are down underneath the hips. And then this dumbbell is just lightly touching the floor, nice and close to the body. And then you're just going to lift, tap, lift, tap. So keeping that arm straight, keeping the shoulder away from the ears. Lift, lift. Five, four, three, two, hold this one up, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, remember we've got our circles, three, two, one, circling towards the body, little circles, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, lower it down, pop the dumbbell down, sitting back onto your heels, take your left arm up, facing backwards down between those shoulder blades, taking hold of it with the right hand, just lightly on top of that elbow and then lean your head back and feel that nice stretch into the triceps. Good, and then bring your hands down. Have a little shake. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is lie on our, um, sit on our bums. And we're gonna take the ball. And you're gonna place the ball between your thighs. And then what you're gonna do is take your hands behind your knees and you're gonna come back. Now, this is enough for you, you're gonna hold here and we're just gonna squeeze and release this ball. If you want to challenge yourself a little more, you're going to take the knees up into tabletop. And then we're just going to squeeze, 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 six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the feet back down, leave the ball where it is. You're going to really curve back, so curving your spine and then sit yourself up through the centre and then curve yourself back, so pressing down into your feet and then lift back up. Oh God, the dog has created the most unbelievable smell. Oh, down, rolling the shoulders, up, drawing in, so down, creating this curve and then engage those abs, drawing yourself up. So if you want, you can remove your hands now from behind your knees, curl yourself back, draw yourself in and up, curling back, and then lifting up. So you'll feel the point when the abs have to really kick in to hold you here, down, you curl that spine, and then lift back up, and then curl, and lift back up. Four more. Keep squeezing that ball, I should have said that as well, all the way through. And lift. And three. And lift. And two. And lift. And last one. And lift. Just hug your knees for a second, sit upright, so you just ease up that back. And you're going to take hold of the ball, you're going to place it behind your back, so it's just a nice support for you. And then you're going to take hold of probably your lighter dumbbell. You're going to hold the dumbbell right up in front of you, and you're going to take it out to the side. So you're drawing back so you can feel these abs, and then lifting it up to the centre, and then take it out to the other side. Okay, so lift, out to the side, through the centre, out to the other side. So maybe lift up onto your toes if that helps you keep a bit balanced through your feet and your body. Or just draw the heels in. It's quite a challenge to stay centralised. <sighs> lift. Down. And lift. Down. And lift. Down. 
and lift, last two, and lift, last one, and lift, good, see yourself back up, place the dumbbell down, okay, taking the ball, place it between your thighs, we're going to move on to a plank section and then we're going to do a bit more glutes, mega glutes to finish. Okay, so just holding the dumbbell between your legs, remembering we're going to do a high plank, then a low plank, then back to a high plank. Your options throughout both are if you need to stop at any point, you just drop into your knees and just squeezing this ball, drawing your tummy away from your spine. And I can feel that the abs are already working strongly, just hold me in that position. So that's your variation if you need it. Otherwise, you're pressing into your toes, lifting up into a nice high plank, and then you're just going to squeeze and squeeze and release the ball, but also engage your glutes, okay? So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop to your knees, come down so you're on your elbows. Elbows underneath the shoulders, lift back up, into your plank. Then you're going to bring one knee to the floor, then lift it up. Then other knee. Working hard to keep the upper body still. Bring it down and lift. Down, lift, down, lift. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop the knees. Take it back for a second. Rotate your wrists. Okay, the last one, we're going to come back up to the high plank. Hands down underneath the shoulders. Tucking those toes or holding on your knees if you need to. Pressing up, drawing your belly away from the floor. And then what we're going to do is drop both knees. We're going to try and bring them in and forward. So you're almost in a donkey position. So my toes are really traveling forward and down and then coming back, okay? So you're going to drop using those lower abs to draw these knees down and in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up. Okay, then bring your bottom back towards your heels, lower your forehead. Couple of breaths here. Then having some water if you need it, and then bringing your ball, we're going to lie our heads on the ball for the last part. So, this is quite nice, the heads only. <laughs> so you can lie with your head just resting on the ball and it just sort of protects that neck, which sometimes can be a bit sore from this move. This lower arm, you can either have straight out and press the other arm down into the ground if that feels good. Or the other thing that you can do is curl this bottom arm around the ball and just hold the ball in place and that might feel quite good too. Then you're going to draw your knees up so they're at 90 degree angles. So drawn up in front. Okay. And then what we're going to do is pressing the other hand down and we're just so you want a 90 degree in the waist down into the legs and then 90 degrees in the back. And then we're just going to clam and lower, lift and lower, lift and lift. So keep pressing down into that bottom leg, pressing down into the supporting hand. So you're working just this top hip, try and avoid opening everything up as you come up, okay? Just really working this top glute, which you are gonna feel tomorrow because I did this yesterday and my glutes are on fire and we've only just started, which is not good news for me. 15. No one was very sympathetic yesterday. 16. They said it was my fault. 17. For coming up with such a horrible clam sequence. Okay, hold it up. Pulse. 30. 29. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. You're going to straighten the leg. So this leg straight out on top of the other one. Then you're going to bend and then take it so that it's in line with the hips. And you're going to bend to the front, bend, 
behind, drawing from the waist, extend, bend, behind, bend, to the front, bend, behind, bend, to the front, bend, behind, to the front, behind, my glutes are already on fire, to the front, behind, to the front, behind, to the front, behind, to the front and hold, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bend stretch, little bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch, five, four, three, two, one, circle, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, tap in front, circle, tap behind, circle, tap in front, circle, tap behind, circle, tap front, circle, tap behind, circle, tap front, circle, tap, so you're basically in this, coming to the front on top of the other leg, hip, above the hip, front, in line with the hip, that's the words I'm looking for, keep pressing down, last one, you're going to hold out to the back, pulse, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, tiny move, look how small it is, five, four, three, two, one, circle, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, Whoa, draw it in, just give that top glute a little bit of a rub, show it some love, well at least there wasn't a band on, that's all I can say about that, and I've done my worst side first, I remembered this time, okay so we're gonna um, just stretch out that glute, so just take your right foot, take it over that left knee, really press away from the mat, and then lift up, and then hold round this hamstring and just stretch that out. That should feel lovely. And then bring it down. And then bring yourself over and onto the other side. So we do need to even ourselves out. So taking the ball. Placing it under the head, either curling up this bottom hand or leaving it out straight, whichever feels good for you. Pressing down with the other hand into the floor for support. And then remember to draw up knees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And then starting off with our clams. And this always feels quite nice at the beginning. I like the beginning bit, although the bit that we're pressing down into where your hips are lying is probably a bit sore. Left. I don't know if the dog's in, in camera shot, I can't see, but I'm basically staring at the dog's bum. It's just what I want while I'm working my own bottom. Oh, okay, keep going. Ten, nine, press down into this hand, down into the ball, down into that bottom leg. Four, three, two, hold it up, pulse, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. 25, 23, 22, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold here. Straighten the leg so it's stacked on top of the bottom one. Bend. Take it in line with the hips. Bend. So I want you to concentrate on staying really still here with this upper body. Use that bottom leg and this supporting hand to help you. Draw in, kick, draw in, behind, draw in. So you're trying to stay on the same lateral plane. So trying to stay nice and flat with this leg on the same plane. So don't take it higher and lower. Keeping it at the same height should be a bit crampy in those glutes now. Out front, out back, out front. Out back, we're nearly there. Well, with this bit, out front, out back, hold it out front here. Pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, small, bend, stretch, don't stop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, circles, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring your toe to the floor, tap, circle to the back, tap, circle to the front, tap, circle behind, tap, and front, this is good for your mobility, working the waist as well as the glutes, you'll feel the higher up you come with this leg, if you put your fingers here you'll really feel these obliques working, visualise that waist, working hard, three, back, and two, and back, last one, hold it back, hold it up, pulse, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, small, bend, stretch, 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 and circle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, draw that knee in, rub a bit of life back into that glute, and then roll yourself over and onto your back, Take your left foot, cross it over that right knee, drop the top knee, lift that leg up from the ground, stretch out. <sighs> Ooh. Well, that was quite burny. Quite nice not having to repeat anything. Ah, okay. Bring both your feet down, take your ball if you've got one and just pop it or your cushion or whatever, just pop it under your lower back and just come into a nice supported bridge. Ease out that back. And then at inhale and take your arms up overhead and lie them down on the floor above your head. Nice stretch for the shoulders. Nice release for the back. And then float the arms back up, taking the hands onto the ball, lifting the bottom, sliding the ball away, lowering down. And then you're just going to drop those knees from side to side in this nice windmill position. Bring your hands out to the side, keeping the shoulder blades in contact with the mat, but letting the glutes roll up side to side. And then whichever side you're on, just let the knees just drop down. Turn your head the other way, a little spinal twist. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day for creosoting a shed. <laughs> I hate creosote. Up, down the other side. Turn your head the other way. Beautiful day for creosoting a shed that's way bigger than I gave permission for. I think Jeff's going to move in. I've decided he's big enough he could get a bed in there. He's going to escape us all. And then lift those knees back up. Take your hands behind the knees. Coming into a few rocks if it feels good. Forward and back, easing into it. And then seating yourself up. Taking a slight bend in your knees if you need to. You're just going to stretch the arms up overhead. Really reach and then hinge your chest down towards your thighs, reaching for your legs or your feet, forward fold. And then slide the hands back up, cross the legs, bring your hands in front, bring yourself onto all fours, tuck your toes, lift your hips up towards the sky, back into down dog, Stretching out the back of those hamstrings and then walking those feet up towards your hands and then doing your slow stacked roll up. And then when you get to the top, rolling the shoulders, two or three behind and then two or three to the front. And then giving yourself a clap, well done, that is bar sculpt complete for today. Thank you.